all right guys uh, this video is in continuation of uh, of the videos that i have been making on the topic of ship stability uh, so quick disclaimer before you start watching this video please make sure either you have a basic knowledge of ship stability you should have a good basic knowledge of ship stability or you should have watched my previous videos uh, that i have made on this topic so the links to those videos are given in the description section below so make sure that you watch them in series if you do not have a knowledge of ship stability otherwise there is no point in watching this video uh, because this video assumes that you are familiar with a lot of these terms that i have been or been teaching in the past on my in my previous videos all right so this video is again a continuation of the topic of calculation of bm and km where bm and km are the distances of the center of buoyancy from the ship's meter center and the keel from the meter center respectively um, just previous to this video i had made a video on calculation of km and bm but i had focused mainly on box shed vessels in this video i'll be teaching how to calculate bm and km for other ship shapes and uh, also teaching you how to draw km curves and how to derive information from the km curves so this part two refers to the part two in the series of calculation of bm and km this is probably the 17th video i've made on the topic of ship stability so you should have previously watched all the other videos so let's get into the question here so the first question or rather the reason i've written this is the sixth question is because previously i've discussed five questions on this topic so this makes it question number six all right so if you are familiar with the knowledge of ship stability and you have been watching these videos then of course this is the uh, video in continuation of the last video so the question here says that uh, calculate the list when 30 tons of cargo is shifted 10 meters transversely on a box shed vessel and i know this is a box shed vessel but further down you will see that i have used a triangular shed vessel as well all right so box shed vessel the dimensions or the length or breadth of the dimensions are given here the seawater draft is given to you the kg is given to you and the free surface moment is given to you so you have to calculate the list so how i go about solving questions or any questions that are numerical based questions is i write down the formula for the component that i have to calculate so if i have been asked to calculate the list the first thing i'll do is i'll write down the formula for calculating the list and again like i said if you have not been watching my previous videos you will be lost here because i've discussed what is list and how to calculate list in my previous videos here i'm assuming that you guys are familiar with it so tan of theta where theta is equal to list is equal to d by w where d is the distance the weight has shifted w or this is a small w is the weight shifted all right or loaded or discharged sometimes and the big w here is of course the displacement that is a ship's weight in other terms or in layman's terms and gm is of course the distance of the center of the gravity to the meta center all right so tan theta will be equal to d by w which is the distance the weight has shifted or weight has been moved uh, in this case of course it has been shifted where w is the weight shifted that is 10 by 30 divided by w by gm all right now i don't know what is w and i don't know what is gm i also don't know what is theta this is what we have to calculate so at this point of time now i have realized that i have to find out these components before i can actually calculate the component of list so i'll start by finding out the displacement so the displacement of the ship is denoted by capital w which is equal to length by breadth by draft multiplied by density and this is the density in seawater so this gives me the displacement of 11480 tons so this makes it the displacement now draft is equal to 7 meters which is given to us kb of a box shed vessel is equal to draft divided by 2 so 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 meters bm of a box shed vessel can be calculated by b square by 12d where b is the breadth of the vessel and d is of course the draft all right now all this i have i've discussed in the previous video as well please watch that so b square divided by 12 times draft gives you a bm of 3.05 meters so therefore km becomes kb plus bm which is equal to 3.5 plus 3.05 which is equal to 6.55 meters 
all right subtract the kg given to us in the question so kg is given in the question itself kg subtracted from the km gives us the gm solid the gm solid subtracted from free surface correction so if free surface correction is subtracted from the gm solid it gives us the final gm also known as gm fluid all right so gm determines the stability of the vessel now what is free surface correction free surface correction is when there are slack tanks on the ship and the water, liquid in those slack tanks slosh about with the ship's movement and they lead to a virtual loss of the gm that virtual loss is calculated by finding out the free surface correction which is nothing but free surface movement divided by displacement of the vessel so free surface movement is given to us in the question as 4800 and you divide it by the displacement of the vessel which is 11480 that you have calculated above all right so that is the free surface correction finally you get the final gm or fluid gm all right now because we have the gm and well as the displacement you can calculate the list by the formula tan theta equals d by w which gives you the listing moment this is the capital w this is a displacement and finally the gm gm is the fluid gm or the final gm if you put in the values take tan to the other side gives a tan inverse you will get the list of 2.36 degrees this is the list since we don't know in which direction the weight was shifted whether port or starboard we cannot determine whether the list was to port or starboard the next question is about drawing the km curves all right so how do you draw the km curves for a box shaped vessel length by breadth is given to you and you have to draw the km curves for a drafts between two to seven meters so all the drafts between two and seven meters from the curve you have to find out the maximum km and the draft oh sorry the minimum km and the draft at which it occurs so it's the minimum km you have to find out all right so this is a very simple question actually if you think about it so the draft is given to you so from two to seven meters that means you use the whole numbers only otherwise there is no end of it so two three four five six seven the draft column is done you have to draw it for this draft right to find the km all you have to do is find the kb and the bm it's a box shaped vessel and then add the two together to find the bm all right so kb is draft by two for a box shaped vessel so you can see here kb is draft by two so every time you see the draft divided by two so 2 by 2 is equal to 1, 3 by 2 equals 1.5, 4 by 2 equals 2 meters, 5 by 2 equals 2.5, so on and so forth. All right. BM of a box shaped vessel is found by the formula B squared by 12D, where B is the breadth of the vessel and D is the draft. Put in the values here and you will find the answer to that as well. So, all right. So, B becomes the breadth of the vessel, which is equal to, of course, 12 meters. And draft is changing from 2 to 7 meters this is the draft that's all if you put it in the formula so let me do the first one for you so if you put 12 times 12 divided by 12 multiplied by 2 meters of draft you will see the answer is 6 meters right so that's what you have to do for all the values here keep changing the draft only all you have to do is change the draft all right so the next one will become 12 by 12 divided by 12 multiplied by 3 meters all right so on and so forth once you get kb and bm all you have to do is find the km by adding kb plus bm so every time kb plus bm so this is 1 plus 6 this is 1 plus 4.5 1.5 plus 4 sorry i should be erasing that so otherwise you guys will get confused so the next one is 1.5 plus 4 third one is 2 plus 3 so on and so forth all right so now that you have got the km for all the drafts plot the draft on your x-axis plot the km on your y-axis as i have done and then against each draft plot the km so for example for a draft of two meters your km is seven meters so you should be plotting it at above two is seven meters here all right similarly for three meters is 5.5 so above three point three meters go vertically above to 5.5 and draw it and this way you get your km curve these are only for about six values so it's a small game curve from the draft itself for sorry from the graph itself or from the tables itself you know that the minimum km is 4.9 meters if you if you compare all the km values here even from the graph you can see the minimum value is km is 4.9 meters and that occurs at a draft of 
five meters from the tables also you can see that and from the graph also you can see that all right then i take the third question for today and this shape this time finally i have got a barge or a vessel that is shaped like a triangular prism so for a long time i was trying to take up a different kind of a shape i have been dealing with a lot of these box shaped vessels but i want to show you what happens when it's a different shape so this box shaped vessel is shaped like a triangular prism it's 20 meters broad at the top and 10 meters deep it is 45 meters long and displaces 2952 tons so the displacement denoted by capital w is 2952 you have to find the km in seawater density 1.025 so if you look at the drawing here you can see how the box shed vessel is shaped the blue line here denotes the level of water all right so the blue line here denotes the level of water so under this level of water it's all water so that's where the vessel is submerged like that all right so the 20 meters broad at the top this is 20 meters broad at the top 10 meters deep you can see 10 meters deep here the total depth is 10 meters the draft is unknown to us and the breadth uh, at which the water is submerged is also unknown to us but then the length is known to us length is 45 meters the displacement is given to us 2952 tons this is the displacement right denoted by capital w but displacement also equals underwater volume by density all right so the underwater volume then becomes equal to displacement by density if i take density onto the other side here so because these are the two which are given to us so displacement is 2952 density is 1.025 in this case the underwater volume so u slash w stands for underwater volume volume of the vessel which is under the water is equal to 2880 meter cube all right now the underwater volume of a triangular shaped vessel can also be found by multiplying the area by the drafts the area of a triangle is equal to half base by height in this case area of the triangle refers to area of the triangle submerged also area of the triangle submerged in this case so area of the triangle submerged you can see is the blue portion all right so if i highlight this blue portion here this is the area of the triangle that i have to find out of the box shaped vessel this can be found out by half base by height of submerged submersion so that makes it half by uh, half into x by d and then of course the length of the volume also the the length of the vessel also gives you the um, volume so uh, area by length will give us the volume uh, did i say area by draft before no area by length all right so area is half by x by d so half by x by d so base is x and d is height will give you the area and then length multiplying it by length gives us the volume of the triangular but we don't know what x by d is so we'll use the rules of uh, symmetry here so in this case the two triangles are symmetrical so the blue triangle and the big black triangle is symmetrical so therefore the base by height that is x by d of the smaller triangle this is the blue triangle will be equal to the base by height of the black triangle so in this case x by d equals 20 by 10 so x will be equal to 2d all right so the above formula here can be written as half times still l remains l the length but x is sub replaced by 2d and then d is remains the same d is the draft which is equal to the underwater volume of the submerged triangle so if you put in the values half multiplied by 45 which is the length of the vessel multiplied by 2d square equals 2880 d square will give you 2880 multiplied by 2 divided by 90 put in the value of under root and you will get d as 8 meters so draft becomes 8 meters now km is equal to kb plus bm always but kb of a triangular shaped vessel is two third by draft just like kb of a box shaped vessel is draft by two or draft divided by two kb of a triangular shaped vessel is two by three times of draft so draft is eight meters two by three of eight meters gives you 5.33 meters similarly bm of a triangle is calculated by lb cube divided by 12v box shaped vessel it's b square by 12d but of a triangular shaped vessel it's lb cube by 12v where L is the length, B is the breadth, which is given to you. 
and V is the underwater volume. So underwater volume you've calculated before. So this stands for underwater volume. Right. So if you put in the values of the length and the breadth and the underwater volume, you get the BM as well of 5.33 meters. In this case, both KB and BM are 5.33 meters. That's a neat coincidence. So to find KM, which is always equal to KB plus BM, you just put in the value of KB and BM, add the two together and you get the KM of 10.66 meters. All right. So I have taken three different kind of questions this time to explain the concept of calculation of KM and BM more clearly to the students who are appearing for chief mate or master's exams. Uh, if you want me to take up more examples in this area, let me know through feedback. You can write it in the comment section. Uh, and if you like these videos, please subscribe to these videos so that you get notification of my future videos. All right. So I'll keep making videos on different topics. The idea is to cover as many topics as I can that will help you to learn for your exams and certification and for your work. All right, guys, thank you very much. And thank you very much for all your positive comments. I, I can't name my subscribers anymore, uh, but they have been put, sending me positive comments always. And I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye, guys.